Alright. 27 more. And we will be getting there. Oh, so the VIP is here now. Yeah, he just kind of walks around a bit. Hopefully we don't kill anybody in this time, because that would probably be quite bad for our reputation. Yay, drinks. People always say they need drinks, but they hardly ever use the drinks machine. Are we researching? The thing with the research um, area is that you can put as many people in there as you like. Let's take cure equipment down and just do 100% diagnosis equipment because I'm pretty sure that we can get more, more diagnosis stuff in this level. Inflator room. See, that's not... Inflator room, general diagnosis and the GP's office are all right because anybody can work in there with any qualifications. But when people start leaving here, that's when we get a problem. And when they start leaving the research areas as well. Although with research, because there's no one waiting for you, it doesn't really matter. See, here's where I get into a bit of a pickle. The nurse is too tired to work anymore, so she's going to go to the staff room. If I hire another one, then when she comes back, I'm not going to have any need for the first one. So I'm kind of trying to decide if we um, should build a ward or not. Because then we'd have two that could interchange. Have we got enough room for a ward here? What are you doing? How about we stop just wandering around and we go fix people? Yeah, how about you do that? Although I think because there's no one... Like, because there's no one waiting at an empty room, they don't go there anyway. What's wrong? Uh, so if I send him to the research department, I'm pretty sure they'll kill him. So if we get him to wait for a little while. Maybe we should go 50-50 on diagnosis equipment and cure equipment. Because hopefully we'll be able to get the slack tongue clinic soon enough. There we go. But yeah, like I was saying, the more people you put in the um, in the research area, the quicker it'll go. It's obviously just quite salary intense. If we got one more... Plus I'm pretty sure they will duck out and help in the other rooms if, um, if we run out of people as well. Why is he standing up? Oh yeah, because when people wait for things, they don't sit and wait, they stand up and wait, which makes not a lot of sense. So... Oh dear, more problems. What's going on? Wait. Hurry up, I need Slack Tongue Clinic. Or did they say we've already re we've already researched it and I just haven't got one? No, we haven't. Ooh. Not cool. I'm beginning to feel like this music is slowing my game down. My game is like lagging and I don't know why because it's like one of the... Um, Aha, there we go. Slicer is where they do the slack tongue stuff. Anyway, like I was saying, I keep saying that a lot. Um, I'm pretty sure the music is freaking out the game. Because it's a very old game, so you'd think that it wouldn't be too CPU intensive, but my laptop's quite old anyway. But anyway, after visiting your hospital, the mayor of Greater Trumpton remarked, hmm, not a bad medical establishment, certainly. Woohoo, 800 pounds, that's loads of money. Or dollars, or I think we're in dollars at the moment, actually. <laughs> Fixed him. Oh no, we're number one in the Hall of Shame, great. Oh no, 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 that's good. No, that's good, I think. Yeah, because if we were bottom of the, yeah, my score's high, yeah. Okay, that's good. The Hall of Fame, where, where are we? We're not even on the Hall of Fame. Boo, okay. Multivac. Ms. Gamer 23199. Um, I found out about this game that you can do start a, a start a network game. I'm assuming that means you can play against other people online. So if any of you actually still play this or are currently playing this game and know how it works or would know how to set it up or could teach me how to set it up, then we could play network games together. Maybe, I don't know, maybe when we reach like 150 subscribers or something. Or just for, just for fun really. I'll have to see. Oh, I, oh yeah, I remember. I remembered something. If we click on this, we can see how much loan... Because if you run out of money, like I have done in a few 
you like run out of enough money to build the places to cure people to get the money again. Anyway, where are we looking? I can never remember which bits of which. Is it this one? It is this one. You can change how much you charge for um, certain things like to cure people. Although these treatment charges seem huge anyway, so I'm not going to change any right now, but you guys will have to let me know if you think that I should um, up them or put them down. I never tire of watching them do the bloaty head thing, it's so strange. Although we did fix people, woohoo! Right. How are we getting on? Let's check. So we're getting 26%, which is probably not too bad. Although everybody's still cold. Why are they still cold? So basically, we've done all the objectives apart from that one. So we need to cure eight more people and then, 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 we should be done. So diagnosis equipment's at 100%, but we've just... As you can see, we've just made a cardio thingy magic for diagnosis. So if we... Oh, I need more room for a cardiogram. I think I'm going to have to buy that really expensive plot of land. Um, what was I going to do? Change the research. We'll just keep going through them now. I don't think there's much that it does when you start improving things like that. Anyway, let's buy... Ugh, that's a lot of money. Ah, that's fine. So we can put... Actually, I don't know why I did that. Although I do need the cardiogram place. I'm not going to be able to, All the um, equipment, uh, the diagnosis and treatment equipment is done now. So these, this is literally the only thing I need. Oh, I suppose I could put a ward in here, like I was going to do before. Put a radiator. I was just thinking I need a... Um, So they keep saying that we have some. Woo! Um, they keep saying we have too many doctors, and some of them are unoccupied. Although I think we've sorted that now, between the three in the research department and stuff. So if I take one out of the research department because they have normal doctor qualifications as well, put him in the cardio. Yeah, I did notice there was wasn't anybody in there. Um, right, let's build a huge ward. That's not huge, I think that's the actual size it needs to be. There we go. Because. Whoops. Because what I've seen or read is that if you make people go to sleep in your hospital, then generally that will cure them as well. We need a half decent one, she'll do. So then people will come in here, have a sleep, and then I don't know if that just means that they're cured and they go home or whether they then continue their treatment or what really. We may have to keep an eye on someone who goes in there and see where they go next. No one needs to go to the cardio? No, no, not at all, no. Okay then, right, let's look. How far are we from that? Six more. Hurry. See my computer, my game seems to be running fine without the music. Now, I think it's when it changes music. We'll go back to having a bit more music for a little while. Seeing as we've kind of done everything now, I'm just kind of watching it run. That was weird. My computer, like the disk drive, just made a funny noise. Okay, I'm going to turn the music off because the music seems to be freaking the game out or something chronic. So I'm going to leave that for now. I might add my own music in the background on the next one, maybe. But I don't know. Have we even got anybody queuing? Oh yeah, we have. See, they expect one person. Now there is one person. I was going to say, it's very very rare that you don't have anybody queuing for for the hospital. Uh, for the GP, even. Beep, beep. I think it is the cutest noise when they run on the cardiogram. Dip, 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 dip. Go. Fix him. No, 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 no. Why do you go and sit down? I do not understand. And then they get up again. Very silly game mechanics. Anyway, looking at some of their, um, some of the bios of the people that you 
higher. One of them said loves to play theme park world. And I remember that they that the people who made this they made um they made theme park world as well, so I'm beginning to wonder whether I should play that as well, because I used to absolutely adore that game. So I think I might play some of that on my channel. You'll have to let me know if you want to see any, because I think it was one of those games that quite a few people played back when they like when they were the same age as me at the same time as me kind of thing if you know what I mean because I was born in 93 which makes me 20 nearly 21 shock horror but I think I can't remember how old I was when it came out I wasn't very old at all and it was one of those games I used to sit and play like religiously for like four or five hours at a time which probably says a lot for my um, brain development but it was a good game. If you haven't seen it, you'll have to check it out. How are we doing? Let's have a look at this. Diagnosis termination. A patient's diagnosis will continue until doctors are as certain as the stop procedure percentage. Or... So they have to be... What? I don't understand that bit. We'll leave that. So you can do this. You can change... So they're really, really tired before they go to before they need to go to the staff room, which kind of needs doing occasionally because otherwise they kind of take the mic a little bit and they get a little bit tired and then they all go to the they all go to the staff room at the same time. Uh, take a chance of possible cure. Eighty percent. Why not? Again, no. Fifty nine percent. I'm afraid not. Not high enough. I've built so many radiators and I've turned up the heating more than you all know, stupid man. Uh, 70, yeah, 72% so more. Oh, okay, so Aung San Suu Kyi, the Burmese Democratic Opposition Leader. Yeah, why not? He sounds like a cool guy. Right. Ah, so we have, we should be there now. We should be there any moment now. Doctor, attending psychiatry, please. Oh, that was a nice noise. I heard that. That was lovely. Lovely. What are they waiting for? Psychiatry. Ah, I need to stop taking a chance on these cures because now the bloke's here or will be here soon. You can guarantee that the second the bloke walks in the door, somebody's going to die by accident. And then he's going to hate us and we're going to get a bad review, etc, etc. Righty ho. See, but just by looking at people, sometimes you can guess what they've got obviously bloaty head and slack tongue and stuff like that is quite easy but with ones like this it's quite fun to try and guess what their actual problem is although a lot of the um the game mechanics stay the same my parents told me that medical profession paid well so give me a raise of 17 or i'll become a computer games producer how sack them and be like whatever or you can meet the pay demand which i'm pretty sure i always do because well i suppose i suppose i should keep an eye on this generally and then if somebody Throws a wobbly, then I can um, then I can see if I remember if there was anyone or right, or anybody half decent. And then if there was, then if there was, I could sack them and get the better person. You've been vastly successful during your tenure at this hospital. To this end, we predict great things for you and would like to offer you a position elsewhere. The salary would be nineteen thousand and sixty-seven dollars. We think you'd love the new challenge it would pose. Would you like a position at Large Chester Hospital? I think I might, but I'm going to end this episode here. I'm going to say yes to this, and then we'll start the next episode in the next hospital. And I think that's about it. I will see you all in the next episode. Thank you very much for watching. Bye, guys.